my name is Jason Okuri and welcome to your very, very detailed walkthrough tour of number nine wall close here in Everts. Positioned at the end of a quiet cul-de-sac street, meaning there's no through traffic and there's heaps of space here for the kids to run around, kick a soccer ball and meet the neighbours. On top of that, uh, the neighbours are very nice, so it's worth reading the seller's story to know a bit more about these uh, lovely streets. But your tour starts here at the front and there's heaps of driveway space to fit easily another two or three vehicles on the driveway and then even additional space uh, here for boat, caravan, whatever you like or another vehicle there as well. Now I really like that this uh, this block is positioned slightly on a slope, meaning that uh, when we go inside you'll be able to check out all this retaining wall is uh, going to be fully covered in just a few weeks time as we enter spring. Um, I know spring's coming up very very fast and all of these trees will be filled out with, uh, with all the leaves and flowers and whatnot and it's a really good uh, private zone away from uh, from the rest of the street so because of this retaining wall it's nice and private so heaps and heaps of, heaps of different fruit trees and, and plants and whatnot are all been well looked after over the past few years as we come on through there's two entrances entrances down here and then there's another the veggie patch over uh, section over here as well and then a side gate to the uh, the yard there which we'll check out shortly okay let's do the inside Coming on inside, there's heaps to show you because the owners have done a lot of work to get this home ready for you. So all you have to do is turn the key and move in and relax. First things first, beautiful timber flooring. This has all been polished and sanded back just recently. The house has been freshly painted. These carpets here in the living room were just done a number of years ago. So if you read the seller's story, there were no carpets initially. And this uh, definitely makes it feel a lot more homely and um, definitely a lot more warmer. Coming on through the living room, we've got double sliding doors to welcome you. We'll close that off from the rest of the home. And this is a really, really large living area. And again, beautiful windows out towards the front yard there. And you'll just, uh, again, like I said, the privacy you can imagine in springtime when all the plants and, uh, and veggie patches all, uh, is all blooming. Uh, speaking of uh, up on the ceiling, we've got uh, our down lights there. You've got your reverse cycle heating and cooling for uh, electric heating and cooling. And another split system there as well. Coming on through, this flows really nicely in through to the dining room and a beautiful view out towards the backyard. Easily fit a six seater dining table and larger if need be. And I really like the natural flow through this arch, uh, this arch uh, walkway through to the dining room and back through to the living area. And then this can be completely shut off through to the kitchen through the sliding door and after you. So you've got your original kitchen with updated appliances, so four burner electric cooktop, your range hood over, heaps and heaps of cupboard space either side, and underneath, heaps of cupboard space here. You've got your two bowl sink, which looks again out to the yard. Really important if you've got kids or pets outside, um, while you're doing the dishes, you can still check up on them. You've got your dishwasher tucked away here, heaps and heaps of drawer space there and heaps of bench space for preparation. And then just on the other side of the kitchen, you've got two ovens and a grill. Um, so these are all, you know, all well in good condition. More cupboard space up here. And just to the left-hand side, more pantry space. Now, if you like, you could add additional pantry space there or make a fridge spot. So the owner's just had a fridge there. But if you want to close it off, you're more than welcome to when the house is yours. Coming on through here, another um, informal living area, so you can make this a dining space, a study space, whatever you like. I do like this, this bench place have this, has this overhang, so you can use this as a breakfast bar and then have a, a separate um, zone there for whatever you like. And then just around to the side here, you can have this as a pantry spot um, or a linen closet, so that's all shelving there. Okay, It'll be closed off. And then just turning around from here, this is the control panel for the reverse cycle heating and cooling to keep you comfortable year round. Coming on through the bedroom wing, this sliding, uh, swinging door just opens and closes that off from the living areas. To the left hand side, you've got your updated bathroom. It's a corner shower, your bath, vanity, a mirror to the left hand side. You've got your uh, electric um, uh, towel rack to keep you toasty and of course heat lamps and a window outside to, uh, to help with the external ventilation. On plan let's call this one bedroom number two. Beautiful view out towards the front yard. You can see that sunlight coming on through now and my orientation there so you can see that's now east. So the beautiful morning sun shining through here and then you've got three door robes just tucked away with shelf space, hanging space and then more space over here as well. 
with more shelves. And coming on through just next door, we'll call this one the main bedroom, the largest bedroom. All the bedrooms are good sizes, but this one probably is the largest. Easily fit queen size bed, bedside tables or whatnot, plus other furniture items, cabinets, uh, desks. Again, beautiful view towards the front yard and I can't wait for springtime to see uh, those uh, flowers blossoming. All hanging in shelf space. And more shelf space there as well for you. Just to the side over here, we've got our separate toilet. And then to the side of that, we'll call this one bedroom number three. Again, easily fit double bed, bedside tables. This one doesn't have a built-in robe, but uh, very easily to get it done. If so, the owners have done a quote for that, or you can get your own quotes as part of that. Very easy fix. All the bedrooms, again, have that heating and cooling. That's uh, really nice and toasty. <laughs> We've, uh, we were here in the morning, when it was a little bit colder. We turned that on and it was really instantly warm, so. Okay, let's check out the yard. So off the bedroom wing, you'll also find your laundry spot. So really good sized laundry, not one of those European laundries with the bifold doors. You've got your tub there, the dryer, easily fit a washing machine, and then other items here as well. You can easily put a bench on top of there and uh, have a bit of a green space. Um, but this uh, laundry flows on through out towards the pergola. A welcome. And this is an awesome, awesome sized pergola and really an extra addition off the living area. So this comes off from uh, a sliding door. Our kitchen on the right hand side and you've got your mills area there um, so two access points and this is a really really good size again fully covered from the top you've got your awnings wrapped right around so you can completely close this off make it feel like a sunroom or open this up when the weather's as beautiful as it is today have your morning coffee or your late night dinners the owners actually got married on this and that's the original reason why they built it so they got married on here they were easily able to have a hundred guests so uh, you're more than welcome to invite as many people as you like um, and they even had the origin nights here as well so lots of uh, lots of guests uh, enjoying this entertaining deck. Just a few steps down, we've got our paved path, heaps and heaps of grass space we'll check out shortly. But coming on through just to the, my left hand side, and this is uh, the, the garage. So the garage, worth noting, a single garage, so you could fit a, a single vehicle in there, plus a lot of different other items. So it's 45 square meters, which is just short of a, uh, what's called a triple garage size. So um, you can fit as many things as you, as you like. And I like it's got this rear roller door because then this can come out through to uh, fit your trailer, your caravan, whatever you need. Um, heaps and heaps of space here. If you wanna cover this in the future, you're more than welcome to as well. Heaps of, uh, oh, this is all covered around here, nice and just, uh, hedges, all established. So nothing for you to do there. And look at this, some real grass. How good is that, hey? Heaps of heaps of uh, uh, grass space here for the kids to kick a soccer ball around. Again, like I said, uh, the neighbors are really, really nice. So whether the kids are playing at the front yard or you want them to be inside the, uh, the, these enclosed gates, um, there's heaps of space here to kick a soccer ball, add a pool, um, you know, extend whatever you like, the choice is yours, but there's heaps of space and when you've got space, you've got all this potential. Coming on through, we've got some underhouse storage just tucked away here. Heaps of space there just to fit other, other items. And to the left hand side, you'll see your electric hot water system. And then following on through, this comes through to the front yard. And that's just that side gate where we first started. This is the inverter for the solar panels. So there's 17 6.63 kilowatt solar panel systems and a 5.5 kilowatt system uh, inverter system there as well. And I've just got some lemons. You've got your mandarins which are all coming in now. So you're more than welcome to come and pick some out uh, from the open home. But there's the full tour of the, uh, the backyard. Positioned at a quiet cul-de-sac street, check. Lovely neighbors, check. A home for you to move in, not have to do anything, check. A large yard, check. And a large entertaining deck, check. There's nothing for you to do but to move in, turn the key, sit down and enjoy this lovely home here at Nine Wall Close in Evett. It's currently vacant with a bit of stage and style furniture here at the moment. Um, so we can get you in prior to settlement with early access for free. All you've got to do is come, check it out, fall in love with it and I look forward to seeing you at the next open home.